Kristen, thank you. Now, first alert to watch out for deer ticks. They're out in full force, and state health officials say more people are getting sick after a tick bite. Aisha's at the first alert safety desk. What do they want us to know? Well, Tammy, this morning, Department of Health Services just wants you to take those safety precautions. June and July is when health officials say they're used to seeing more people getting sick with the bacteria's anaplasmosis when bit by black leg ticks or deer ticks is what we all call them. So it's important to know what to look for. Take a look at your screen. Oconnell County health officials sending us this photo. It shows the difference between deer and dog ticks. Ticks are found in every county in Wisconsin, both of those that you're seeing right here. Officials are also seeing more people getting bit by nymph ticks, which are immature or young ticks. They often carry Lyme disease. They're usually found on the forest floor in leaf litter and on low lying vegetation. If you've been bit and it infects you, some of those symptoms to watch out for include fever, chills, a bad headache, muscle aches, nausea. DHS has ways you can protect yourself, so avoid heavily wooded areas, wear long sleeve shirts, long pants, and tall socks and tick areas. We've all heard this before, but some friendly reminders this morning. Wear light colored clothing too. It makes ticks more visible. Also, do those skin checks. Pay close attention to armpits, the back of your knees, scalp, ears, belly button, groin area. It's a good idea to also shower within two hours of going back inside. If you can do it right away, even better. And use insect repellent with 20 to 30 percent DEET. Officials say it's really important to remember not all tick bites will make you sick. They need to be attached to you for at least 12 to 24 hours for them to spread the bacteria that causes anaplasmosis, the, what gets you sick. You do need to watch for those symptoms, though, for at least a month after removing a tick. It's also a good idea to share all this with everybody at home, even the kids, so they know how to stay safe, guys. I